So for those of you that have been keeping up in the Sobrosa updates through Alex Austin's or the Sobrosa Twitter, you might know that there's been some fairly interesting good looks for the game, and I've been very curious when it's going to come out, because I feel like it's already finished. Man and woman player models this detailed? Quite quit teasing me, Alex. But where we should focus now is what will Alex Austin throw into his game Sobrosa next. For those of you who don't know, there's the male and female player models. They look amazingly good, so do the guns, but we'll look at the vanity. How is Alex Austin going to conduct the design of what each company and its members' formalities? Such as Monsoda and Mexico, for example, I had first mentioned to him, would it be like the company's colors extending to not just the ties, but the suits? Or will there be a certain way that they dress according to the company? I haven't asked him yet, but there might be that you can go into the settings and choose that your company automatically chooses to wear these default suits or do they wear com company special suits that are based on what company you are and maybe the you choose when you you're founding the company option next I'd like to talk about is vehicles you know those coupes and sedans that you can kill civilians to get for free and their viable counterpart that is more expensive and fast and the vans that cost less money and go slower and hold more? What types of cars will there be? Not just in shape, but in how you gain speed. Maybe there will be cars that can only be automatic and cars that only take manual. Cars that do both are maybe more expensive. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure some of you know the benefits and disadvantages of either driving stick or automatic. Automatic is good for driving and pulling your attention to important things, but you are slow to accelerate. And driving sick d done right can get you more speed and start turning, uh, smart turning. While well, you can set your attention to important matters. Next, I'd like to talk about guns. The models shown as of this video posted are the Magnum and the M4A1. I'd love to see the Uzi I've heard you could buy at the gun shop. And I'd like to see the pistol and MB5 thinking how it would look to be a neat business combo. I forgot to mention what would the helicopter look like. It was just a car model without tires, had a tail and, and blades up top. How much difference will there be? Let's make up some just suggestions. I am burnt out and I'd like to see what ideas you guys have in the comments. He gets back to me on just about all of my comments, so if he doesn't have a plan, this will help give him a decision. There's also been the issue of, a sim of simple polygons mashed together lagging out some low-grade computers. They say it's the physics, but it seems to be the desert background. He says it's tedious to run all this math, finding solution while keeping up with all the other projects to implement into Sobrosa. I've also heard he's doing all this work on his spare time, and I thank him for his dedication. Lastly, he's been finishing up on the map editor, and it looks to be very easy to use and has many assets at hand. I already want to buy it because of that. So when the map ed editors are open and people mess around, some great builders are going to make exp uh, massive cities overnight. To keep it busy, I'm hoping for maps to have the option of having more or less companies in, s in a single city. Five companies exist in Subrosa right now, but with bigger and small cities, bigger and smaller cities may come more companies, more than five. So to keep it busy, there would be, there would also be a custom or default mi mission set to assets that are buildings most missions take place right now. Or certain assets or custom assets can become mission places while custom missions to boot. And to top it off, how about we add police or more security and mission spots to make things more feisty? Tell me your ideas. They, are, they aren't for naught.